Hello, my friends. It's good to see you again. I am Miss Kendra from Learn and Play Montessori School, and I had a really fun, awesome, long, long weekend. Did you have a really fun, awesome, long weekend too? Yeah, I had a barbecue and ate delicious food. What did you do this weekend? Wow, so lots of my friends had so much fun and we had an extra day this weekend, right? It was a long weekend. What did we celebrate yesterday on Monday? What did we celebrate? Labor Day, that's right, Labor Day. All of the hard workers that we know, we made sure to celebrate their hard work, right? Yeah, awesome. Okay, let's take a look at this calendar. Now, how many days are in the week? Seven days, yes there is. Let's sing our seven days of the week song today. Ready? Seven fingers out, or seven fingers, or seven fingers. Let's have two and five. Seven fingers, ready? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Awesome job. Now, we usually start our school week on Monday, but what is today? Tuesday, that's right. Today is Tuesday. That means yesterday, Labor Day, was what day? Monday, thank you, Monday. Yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday, tomorrow will be Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Now, I saw you on Friday, and then we had a long weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and I still didn't see you on Monday, but I'm really happy to see you on Tuesday. It is the 8th. It's the 8th day of the month. How many months do we have in the year? 12 months. You ready to sing our 12 months of the year song? Thank you. Let's get all of our hands out. There are 12 months. There are 12 months. There are 12 months in a year. There are 12 months. There are 12 months. There are 12 months in a year. January, February, March, and April. May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the year. Fill them with joy and with cheer. The months of the year. Awesome. What month is it right now? September. Thank you. We are in the month of September. And what is the year? 2020. Let's say the whole date together today is Tuesday, September 8, 2020. Awesome job, friends. And on the first day of our week, usually Monday, we say the Pledge of Allegiance. So we have our flag and the pledge, and we have our right hands over our Thank you, yes, over our hearts. Let's look at the flag, right hand over our hearts, and we'll say the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 
Thank you, friends. Now we have a one more song to sing. And I'll be right back. I'm going to get my phonics cards. Cannot be without the phonics cards for the phonics song, right? Okay, we got it all. Ready? Do you know these letter sounds? Do you know these letter sounds? They will help you learn to read. They will help you learn to read. Apple, apple, a, a, a. Baby, baby, ba, ba, ba. Cookie, cookie, k, k, k. Dolly, dolly, d, d, d. Elbow, elbow, eh, eh, eh. Flower, flower. Garden, garden, g, g, g. Hammer, hammer. Igloo, igloo, eh, eh, eh. Jelly, jelly, ja, ja, ja. Kitten, kitten, k, k, k. Lion, lion, oh, oh, oh. Monkey, monkey, mm, mm, mm. Necklace, necklace, mm, mm, mm. Ostrich, ostrich, ah, ah, ah. Pumpkin, pumpkin, p, p, p. Quarter, quarter, qu, qu, qu. Rabbit, rabbit, er, er, er. Scissors, scissors, s, s, s. Tiger, tiger, t, t, t. Undershirt, undershirt, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Vacuum, vacuum, v, v, v. Window, window, wa, wa, wa. X-ray, x-ray, x, x, x. Yo, 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 ya, ya, ya. Zebra, zebra, z, z, z. Awesome job. That was our phonics song. Now when we, after we sing our phonics song, well, what do we do phonics for? For our language, for our talking, and for our writing, and for all of those awesome things. One of our worksheets today looks at the beginning sounds of some words. And another worksheet looks at the consonant, vowel, consonant. You remember those booklets? Okay, this is some review for us to make sure we got it all locked in there. Sounds good? Okay, come on over here. And first I have my beginning sounds, okay? So, we have some pictures here, but first we need to write our name up top. So come on over here. Let's write Miss Kendra's name up top and the date and the year. So, Miss Kendra is my name. What's your name? Mm-hmm. You're right again. Okay. This says practice sheet for M, S, and T sounds. Say the name of the picture and write the first letter of each word. Okay. So what is this picture here? This is a cute little mouse. Yes, a mouse. What is that beginning letter and sound of mouse? M mouse. That's a letter M. That's right. Letter M. Let's write a letter M on our line. Now, next to letter M or below letter M is a what? Is that a shoe? Is that a what is that? A sock. That's right, that is a sock. What is that beginning sound? Sock. That's right. Okay, let's write that on the line. 
Letter S makes our S. And then we have a cute little, uh-huh, that's a turtle, that's right. Turtle, can you say turtle? Good job, and what is that beginning sound? T turtle. What can we put on the line? T -t That's right. A letter T makes that T sound. Now we can finish this later. And um, on the other side, we have some boxes and some letters. Here are some boxes for letter M. Here are some boxes for letter S. Here are some boxes for letter T. So in these boxes, we can draw pictures that begin with these letters. Like M, we could make a mom. We could make a mom. And she would be so happy just like your mom and just like my mom. Right, let's make it evident she's a mom by having a baby there. Does that sound all right? Can you see that as mom? Starts with the letter M. And in these boxes, I will put some pictures that start with the letter S and then letter T. And next page shows us some pictures. Let's read these directions. Say the name of the picture and write the first letter of each word. So we know what to do here. We're gonna say the name of the picture and write the first letter, that beginning sound, on the line. Okay, my friends? Yeah, you got this. This is some review for our beginning sounds. And on the back, we can draw some pictures for those letters. Super. Okay, and then after we have our Consonant, vowel, consonant, review booklet. Okay? Let's put our name at the bottom. And let's put today's date as the start date. So the first picture, what is that? Do you recognize that? Yeah, that's a pin, yeah. So we have p, e, n. We're missing uh, it. P, e, n. This is a pin. What vowel are we missing here? I, I. I, that's right. Let's write in our letter I and we can trace I, n, and write pin. P, I, n, pin. This is a pin. Let's do the first one on the next page. This is a what? Yeah, you recognize it. That's a tag. Where where are we gonna find a tag? Yeah, on clothes on everything that you can buy, right? Yeah. Now we're missing a vowel in tag. T, a, g, t, a, g. What's, we're missing a. What letter do we write there for a? Tag. The letter a, yes. Let's trace. T, a, g. And we can write below. A -g tag. Awesome job. Okay. Let's do one more. What is this? Yeah, it's a can. It's a specific kind of can. It's a tin can. A tin can. What vowel are we missing here? I see t and n. Tin. Tin. I, I, t. I. What letter? 
I. That's right. I. T. I. M. Let's write that again. T. I. M. Ten. Awesome job. Okay, you guys. Thanks for doing that. We'll finish the rest of these later. Okay, maybe they deserve a little color too. How do you feel? Pretty good? Okay. Now I'm ready to make some suds. Are you ready to make some suds? Use our bodies and some action? Okay, fantastic. Let's tuck our chair first. materials. So let me tell you today, I have a lot of things with me. I have a towel, just in case. I have a whisk to whisk. I have soap, a bowl, a sponge to clean up, a dropper, and some water, some blue water today. So here, our goal is to make some bubbles, some suds. Think we can do that today? Yeah? Okay, let's see what we can do. So we're gonna need a little bit of water and a little bit of soap in the bowl. And then we're gonna whisk, whisk, whisk until we get some suds, okay? Okay, let's watch Miss Kendra do this. You guys see these suds? Not bad, eh? Look at those suds. It looked like water before. So, did you see Miss Kendra? How is she holding the whisk? With my three fingers, but I'm holding my arm up so I can have space to move it. Around, around to make suds. Right? So if you're so it's like this, maybe you won't get so many suds. So we need our arm up around so we can make it move quickly, make those suds appear. All right, sounds good? Okay, I really like that, that's, that's a fun one. Mm -hmm. So I am going to clean up my materials a bit and take it back to the shelf and We'll get it ready for the next person. Anybody else? Okay, let's tuck our chair because I want to make sure we get fun time to do some song and some sign language. So. take this to the sink. You guys can follow me to the sink because I want to make sure it's ready for the next person. So I'm going to dump it out in the sink because it's already sudsy. Okay. And while I'm here, Miss Kendra, why don't you wash your hands? Absolutely, guys. My hands are wet now. I can use my soap. 
Get some suds from my soap too. When you wash your hands, do you get suds from your soap as well? You do? Okay, great. Okay, water off. Shake. Get my towel. Garbage can. Two points. And I'll take my materials back to where they belong, ready for the next person. Okay, so the song we have for you today is really, really fun. And we're gonna be singing along with the song. And the song has some sign language. What is sign language again? It's a language that we speak with our hands. That's right, we sign the sign language. So some sign language we need to know for this song are, we're gonna sing la la la. So when we sing la la la, we make an L with one hand and an A with the other hand. Can you show me an L and an A? Very good job. And we're also going to use the word big. Can you show me big? Yeah, or this is small. Small. And old. Old. And young. Young. Very good job. And we are going to do some other ones and we'll try to review as we go along, okay? Okay. And very important one. We family. Can you make a, a letter F like this? Your pointer and your thumbs together around family. Family. We are family. And this is love. Okay? Okay, are you ready to try this song with me? Okay, fantastic. Stay right there. so that we can look at our tens board.
Okay, friends. So this might look a little familiar. A uh, little familiar because we did the teens board last week. Let's take a look at our tens board, okay? Okay. This wasn't put back properly by my last friends. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so we see a lot of numbers here. Can you help me? You remember this from our Zoom class? Okay, let's count by tens here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Now let's think about what that looks like. You remember our 10 bars and our units, right? Our 10 bars are gold, right? Okay, come on over here, get nice and close, okay? Here is our 10s here. So here, how many 10s do we have? One, this is 10. 10. Now, we have two tens. How much is two tens? 20, that's right, two tens is 20. Awesome job. Next is three tens. Three tens is 30. And we're gonna add another four tens is 40. Five tens is fifty. No. One, two, three, four, five. Six tens is sixty. Seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Seven tens is seventy. Eight tens is eighty. Ten, twenty, three, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. Nine tens is 90, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So how many tens does 90 have? Nine, that's right. How many tens does 80 have? Eight. And 70 has seven, okay? So I'm gonna clean up this material. Let's take a look at our worksheet. 
Thanks for doing that counting with me. Okay. to the shelf. Good work, my friends. board activity. So go ahead and color your 10 bars and count how much is in each number. What is the quantity of each number? Okay. What color are 10 bars? Are they red? No. That's right, gold. And then we also have this math practice some addition and subtraction, okay? So this is awesome practice, okay? Okay, friends, thanks for taking a look at that with me. Now, let's think about things that are living and non-living. What are some things that are living? Can you name a few things that are living? You, yes. Me too, yeah. Your sister, yes. What about, do you remember our plant? Is our plant living? Yeah, it even had a baby. It even had a beautiful baby. So cute. And let's see. I'm gonna put my name at the top of my first worksheet and I'm gonna read the directions to you. Let's see. And these say, talk about the characteristics of living and non-living things. Trace the words, draw pictures corresponding to the words. So what are the characteristics of something that is living? Well, something that is living needs air to breathe, right? I need air to breathe. You need air to breathe. The plant needs air to breathe also. And we also need food. Yeah, we're eaters. We eat food. We are living and we eat. And do plants need food? Sometimes there's a plant food like fertilizer. They need water to grow, right? Yeah. And living things also move. Lots of living things move like animals. Yeah. People, we move. Yeah, that's right. And also living things grow. Do you grow? Yeah, did I grow? Yeah, I used to be small. Then I grew because I ate. And also living things also have senses. Like, can you name some senses? What are the senses you remember? We can see with our eyes. 
We can smell with our nose. We can taste with our tongue. We can hear with our ears. And we can feel. We can feel with our hands, with our body. Awesome job. So also, living things have babies, right? Or can have babies, right? Yeah. So those are some things that are that living things have. What is something living that you can tell me? Yes, that's a good one. What's something else? Something totally different. Uh-huh. Yeah, a bug. Yeah, a bug is living. Yeah. Did you say an amoeba? Totally counts, absolutely. Yes, yes. What about things that are non-living? Things that are not living. What are those like? Something like my pencil. Is my pencil living? Can it see you? Can it smell you? No. Does it eat food? Is it going to grow bigger? No. Yeah, pencil's not living. What about something different? What about this table? Is this table living? It's helping me. It helps me every day, but it's not, it's not breathing. We don't have to feed it. It doesn't eat my worksheets. You think it eats my worksheets? I don't think so. It's not living. It doesn't have a mouth, right? So we could draw some pictures in our open space here for living, in our open space here for non-living, okay? And here, don't forget to trace, okay? Let's take a look at one more page here. Some living and non-living, and we're going to be doing the same things, okay? And then, after you finish your first pages, come to the last page, and in these boxes for living and non-living, try to think of something different, something you did not put on this page and something you did not put on this page. Try to think of something new, something different. Sounds good? I think my hardworking friends can do that. Okay, fantastic. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye.